The other day, Vice President Yemi Oshibajo warned that soon many Nigerians will be discouraged to stand against corruption. <laughs> soon. What made a professor of law, a senior advocate of Nigeria, and a man of God to just come to that conclusion when a majority of Nigerians have already given up on corruption? Well, you don't have to look far. He must have been alerted that Punch newspaper had been investigating a hundred billion naira scam committed by a company called Alpha Beta. Welcome to another episode of Urgent Care, where we treat matters too urgent to wait for tomorrow. I am Dr. Damages. The Punch newspaper's investigation of Alpha Beta centered on a company in which Vice President Yemi Oshibajo has a stake. The company is called Simmons Cooper's Partners. It is linked to another company called Ocean Trust Limited, which was fingered in an alleged 100 billion naira scam involving Alpha Beta Consulting Limited and Alpha Beta LP. Link, 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 follow the money. I'm sure you know why things are linked and linked and linked in Nigeria. To cover footprints and fingerprints. I bet you, Hush Puppy applied the same principle, the same formula. Now, according to the accusation, in a 2018 petition to the EFCC, filed by one Dapo, Abara, a former managing director of Alpha Beta, he claimed that Alpha Beta owed the federal government 100 billion naira in unpaid taxes that spanned over 10 years. In the petition, that was alleged that Ocean Trust Limited laundered funds for Alpha Beta. <laughs> Saturday Punch obtained documents from Corporate Affairs Commission that showed that Yemi Oshibanjo's Simmons Cooper was Ocean Trust Company secretary. Link, link, link. In Vice President Oshiba 2015 assess declaration, which you guys saw, he stated that he had a stake in Simmons Coopers. So, Punch investigators opened a can of worms. The lawyers of that were alleged that massive corruption, money laundering, tax evasion, and other crimes we are going on at Alpha Beta Consulting. Yeah. They wanted EFCC to quickly go in and investigate. <laughs> Whoopee. EFCC investigate who? Alpha Beta? Think again. You know the way people believe that money was the content of those bullion vans that went into Bola Tinubu's home on the eve of that election? The same way people believe that Bola Tinubu is the primary owner of Alpha Beta. Alpha Beta got its big contract to exclusively collect taxes for Lagos State when Bola Tinubu was governor. Talking about conflicts of interest. The company gets 10% commission on all taxes collected. What is 10% um, of over 1 trillion naira a year? What is that? 100 billion a year. That's what they get, 100 billion. Now, a panel headed by then Attorney General of Lagos State, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, now the Vice President, awarded the tax collecting contract to Alpha Beta. Link, link, link. <laughs> and guess what? Ocean Trust was located at the same building as Bolatinubu's office building called Freedom House. Hey, they are not even that smart. You know what I mean? Nothing like Hush Puppy. Not smooth criminal. No, 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 no. Now, listen to this. The two shareholders at the inception of Ocean Trust relinquished their shares two days after they registered the company. <laughs> they could not have, you know, just kept them there for six months or so. No, but they couldn't. They were too eager to go into business. Wink, wink, wink. <laughs> so, since 2018, the EFCC did not act on the petition against Alpha Beta. Do you know why? Hmm, take a guess. Let me tell you. In 2012, 
a Lagos-based medical doctor, Dominic Adebola, filed a freedom of information request for detailed information on all alpha beta contracts with Lagos State since 1999. But the state attorney the general then, Ade Ibaya, who is now Oshibajo's chief of staff, link, 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 rejected the request, arguing that the Freedom of Information Act was a federal law and did not apply to states. I'm like, what? Even me, the doctor, I know that. Five years after, in 2017, a state judge ruled that the Freedom of Information Act was applicable to Lagos State. Even uh, Udoka knows that. Has Lagos State revealed alphabet contracts since 2002? Nope. Has the EFCC taken action on the 2018 petition? No. <laughs> now, when Punch asked EFCC, they said, ah, they could not find the petition. Of course, <laughs> of course. Don't ever say that the vice president stopped the EFCC from doing its job. No. The vice president is an honorable man. The fact that Olukayode Olani Bekun, a lawyer from Oshibajo's law office, moved to Abuja to be the chief of staff of Ibrahim Magu of EFCC, the moment Oshibanjo became the vice president was not fishy. The vice president is an honorable man. The fact that Olukayode changed from being Magu's chief of staff to EFCC's secretary was just a mere promotion. The vice president is an honorable man. Again, Olukayode was just a mere secretary of EFCC. It wasn't as if he could make files disappear at EFCC. No. No links. The fact that President Buhari just fired the same Olukayode, the secretary of the EFCC, means nothing. The vice president is an honorable man. Africa, who did this to us? Who did this to us?